Scorpio, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. If you love the video, like the video and share the video on your other social media profiles. If you really love the channel, please help it grow by subscribing down below and getting all those notifications so you'll know every week when I upload a new one of these videos. These videos are timeless. These messages are timeless. I learned that because I was putting timestamps on them and then I kept getting comments on videos I have made back in August and they're still positively impacting people. So I'm sure that the message will come to you when it's time, but I do release a video every week. So subscribing will help you get all of those videos fresh, hot off the press. Scorpio, thank you for your continued help. You have you definitely made the channel grow. It is you that keeps us running and thriving and I'm very, very grateful. This is not a horoscope. This is an energy reading. So what that means is this is definitely for Scorpio sun, but it's also for Scorpio rising, sun, Scorpio moon, Mars, Venus, Mer wherever Scorpio energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next week or so or from whatever time you see it. Remember, if it doesn't fit, don't try to squeeze it. We are not Daenerys. We don't want to be breaking the astrological wheel. We're going to start here with the Oracle card reading, um, a full Oracle card energy spread. And then there's always an extended video with a full tarot card spread that articulates and sort of personalizes with deeper detail the reading that we start on YouTube. And that also includes a romance reading. Scorpio, let's get into this reading. Remember, there will be a commercial breaks during this video, up to three, no more. They help the channel. Just like once upon a time when we were watching Friends or Cheers or the Golden Girls, we dealt with commercials then, and I'm sure that you can deal with them now. I mean, back at old school television, man, CBS never gave you the option to skip, if you know what I'm saying. So, not so bad, right? Hello, Scorpio. Uh, uh, hello. What's happening here? What's going on here? You are never alone. This is the energy crowning, crowning your spirit. This crowning energy is telling me, A, emotionally, you will be extremely sensitive. You will be extremely um, uh, in need, in need of connection or open to connecting. In other words, connectivity. Emotional connectivity will be the most important thing for you now. Now, I know you think, hmm, isn't it always? No, it's not always. Most of the time, Scorpios go out there very, very standoffish, not letting people in. But there's a softening to you this week. There is a sense of, I want people close. I want to feel them. It would also empower you this week to have those people who you know love you unconditionally, the people who make you feel like you're easy to love because for people who really love you you are easy to love scorpio and so be around those people get yourself in communion with your tribe your family whoever you get that unconditional love from it will be essential to your stability and happiness this week this is also telling me that there is a sense of love rising the love becoming larger, love becoming more important. It could just be your emotional state. But overall, Scorpio, love becoming more important could also mean, and this is not the romance reading, but it could also increase your potential for love to enter your life or your love to grow stronger. A connectivity can grow stronger, closer, or actually become um, validated in some ways, prioritized in general, not just by you, but by those outside of you who care about you. Bottom line, this is a very, very almost Cancerian energy where love and connection and um, other people will mean the most to you this week. It could also mean that you're going to be extremely vulnerable, but you already prepare for that. Like I don't ever have to tell Scorpios be on guard because you are. 
this is an uncommon opening and trusting. And I think that's the word that I really want to focus on. This uncommon feeling of trust that you have this week. I would like to know where it's coming from. Let's see. Scorpio. We're here. Lots to come out. Lots to say. Be peace. The energy of two plus one equals three, which we always would think, oh, is it three is a crown? <laughs> no, because here we're talking about spirit sort of like the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, if you were raised in the Christian tradition. Um, but it's it's a sense of three, the Holy Trinity, as in one, two, and three. Three you could see as the whole or as the spirit. Either way, that three is actually balance. It's not two. Two is still in balance. It's still conflict. It's still trying to find its feet, its footing. But three offers that stability. Think of the scale. The scale does not ever just have two elements. We always think it has two elements because we look at the platforms on either side. But what holds it in the center? There's got to be that third to say this is your judgment point. This is how you basically um, um, determine the value of the two things on either side. So this is the enter energy of balance, love, because this is my, a Libra card for me, very much a partnership card, marriage, wedding, ceremony, celebration, a celebration of something that you're proud of could be communion, could be a baptism, a sense of a celebrating of that third source that connects two people, something that happens beautiful that's outside of the humans themselves. This is the spirit card, the Holy Spirit, the spirit of, um, of joy and visitation and beauty. Um, love, love, Libra is that that astrological sign of partnership, which is romantic love. With two of these cards being on the table, both of them coming out first, this being your crowning energy, this is about love. This is about connection and communion. This is about your partnership or the partnerships that are most meaningful to you. This week is going to be filled Maybe with romance, but definitely with love. You could be actually celebrating somebody, somebody's wedding. You could be having a wedding of your own. You could be getting engaged under this energy. This would be a beautiful energy for a new relationship to come into your life. I'm not saying that that's what's going to happen. I will articulate that. Well, we still have a lot more of this reading to go. Um, but Scorpio, this is so open that it's almost not you which is interesting and because i don't want to peg you into a certain kind of behavior because there are many different scorpios and i hate stereotypes but uh stereotypes are usually founded on something <laughs> i mean come on let's admit um still in other words what so what this is telling me, based on what I know about Scorpios and how they like to keep themselves protected and defended, and they're very defensive, there's something about this week that has made you feel so happy you're not even worried about those defenses. You're so in love. In love. Not in love, but in love which is balance and connection and communion with the people around you. You could be going back to a family reunion, spending time with the girlfriends that you've had since high school, going away on your yearly or bi-yearly vacation together. You could just be taking care of yourself, but no, not just yourself, because this is definitely communion. This is definitely connection. 100% this has to do with you being around other people 
in a blissful state. I know you're all like, I'll take it. <laughs> no, actually, you're not. I know, I know, you know, you're not. You know, a lot of you are out there being like, Shh, yeah, no. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I'm saying. That's why I feel like I'm reading for people outside of Scorpio. I know. I know. You are allowed to be happy. Yes. One more. See if anything else wants to pop out. Oh, and it did. Lay a solid foundation. You're getting married. This is marriage. You could be going to a friend's wedding. You could be meeting somebody there. You could be going to a crowd or a, some sort of community gathering or a party or a get together. But Scorpio, not only are you out and about, but you are, you are doing things. In fact, this could have to do with charity as well. You are doing things or practicing things that help help something else, help somebody outside of yourself. You help lay a foundation or you're the one setting the structure or organizing something that helps a communion or to bring people together. This could be about health and healing as well. So a sense of organizing something or bringing something together that helps the greater community, doing charity work, serving the poor, healing the poor. This is like Operation Scorpio to build a better future. This is Virgo energy. This is a sense of, of you having already a plan, like knowing a plan, putting it into action, um, and being there to make sure almost like an operations manager or a superintendent that everything is being built the way that it's supposed to build. You are committing yourself to something, whether it's something that is important to you, you're going after it and you're working with people who inspire you or you're actually deciding to get hitched or get married or get engaged or meet somebody with this energy floating around you there is a sense of really being able to welcome somebody into your life and find people that you can grow with this is a sense of finding at the very least or broadest sense your community purpose this could have something to do with the impending shift from Saturn and of Saturn into Aquarius. It could have something to do with it really sort of opening and broadening and expanding your mind at and expanding your heart, at least to do good for others or help to heal others. But this is definitely a sense. And I know, I know so many Scorpios are just like, what about my relationship? You know, that's not what it's about. It's about your relationship with your community. It's about your relationship with, um, how proud you feel of yourself and how you can help the world. It's also about a relationship getting deeper, a deepening, somebody coming into your life or the two of you coming together and making something official. Okay. Damn. Um, this is another Virgo. Are you dealing with a Virgo? Libra and Virgo are right here. I also just heard in my head, September into October, so this could have effects all the way out till then. I don't know if you're setting a date or setting a marriage date, or you'll be going to a wedding during that time of somebody else, somebody that you love, somebody that you care about, one of your children, a family member, whatever it is, there is a sense of something gelling or coming together by that point and you actively participating in getting this event together. It doesn't have to be a wedding. That's just one suggestion. Dear spirit, bring a gentle touch Dude, more Virgo energy. Now, what is Virgo energy? Let's, th let's talk about it. Virgo energy is nurturing. It's caring. It's cultivating, which takes organization and planning. But the ultimate goal is to feed people, to care for people, and help make that community stronger. That's what Virgo is at its core. So this is an energy that you are, are, are participating in. You're taking your scorpionic energy and you're pushing it into this conduit of healing and helping, but this is also a card of love. 
Eight plus one, 81, is the energy of nine. Something coming to a head, something coming to a finish, something coming out. So you could be making an announcement, discovering something, finding something, figuring something out, or finally deciding that you're going to, that you love somebody. Like them admitting it to you, you admitting it to them, the two of you coming together, something gelling, care for, maybe something that is a child, something smaller or weaker than you. You could be talking or speaking about having children. There is just an energy of growing and loving, a solid love that has a strong earth element to it, which means even if you're not dealing with an earth sign, it's a reliable long-term commitment that we're looking at here. Long-term commitment. Now, you could also be looking into buying a house, putting up the money and buying a home, buying something, something that you would be building for the future. So in the 3D world, it could very much have to do with the buying, purchasing, or building of a home that you, a, a, a house that you will make a home. Be loyal to what you love. This is an energy of 10. So this is completion. Um, in other words, you've made a decision. You're making a decision about the person. You're making a decision about your relationship. You're making a decision about the house that you're going to live in together. You've made some sort of decision. And this has to do with something that you will commit to unconditionally for the rest of your life. This is Cancerian energy. It is dog energy. It is loving somebody and loving your loving unconditionally. And that is your central energy. Underneath the otter spirit, you are never alone. This is telling me this is long-term commitment all over this to something that means a lot to you. Not only as not only philosophically, not only socially, but your heart your heart space. This means everything to you. You're opening up. You trust this. Understand how would you feel about the dog, right? You trust. Not that you can't trust anybody like you could trust your dog. You could trust this energy. It's somebody that opened somebody, something. This is a space where you feel completely at home in. Co-create with spirit. This is divine intervention. The energy of one plus seven, which is eight, which is destiny. You've been waiting for this moment and I swear to God it was going to come. And I was getting this reading, I would say since May or June of last year, that something was definitely going to come together in jail for you 2020. So if you have been listening and aligning and, and coming, like being one with spirit, not questioning, just trusting. This is divinely guided, listening to that happy, happy, um, that happy meter inside of your chest. It's also about finding your voice by finding your voice or letting spirit speak through you, co-creating with spirit. What did I say? That energy of one plus one equals three of that spirit being part of the equation. So it's actually that third party spirit is here. In other words, blessed. This is a blessed union. It's a blessed connection. Ooh, learn from the past. Seven, what are you creating? You're creating something that you've based on, that you've learned how to architect based on all the experiences you've had from the past. So this is an, this, this is an energy. This is a, a, say it's a relationship. This is a relationship that you have been able to decide to be a part of and build and, and yeah, to commit yourself to based on all those things you learned about those relationships that you, that have failed in the past. This is, this is the win that is based on all the loser, the, the lose. This is the win. This is it. This is when you can finally triumph. Why? Because you haven't forgotten what you went through, but you learned what you, you learned from what you went through. And now Scorpio, you can move forward like a stampeding elephant where everything is just cleared out of your way because you're so certain and you have so much conviction because you're standing on solid ground. This is earth energy, more earth energy, Taurus energy. This is a hundred percent solid ground based on what you know, not what you expect, not what you think, but what you've learned by what you've experienced and using it to architect and design the future. Oh, powerful energy, Scorpio. It's also 25, which is two plus five, the energy of seven, creation, creating. What are you creating? 
Mm, more earth energy see the big picture yes you are planning and structuring your future this is taurus energy it's gentle it's kind it's loving it's almost like the mama version of this energy this is love this is new this is a start so this is a new this could be a new commitment that you're seeing going the distance that be, why not because of even the other people because you you have found that place inside of you where you know that you can commit to this for a long term because your experience has led you here not your impulses not your genitalia not your reactions but your experience has led you here so there's a solid a sense of sol solidity here something is solidifying something is becoming obvious evident and it's manifesting into the 3d and you can see it a few years out you can see the distance this is a grounded energy that also has an aerial view and you can see not necessarily in the future but you're not just looking in other words Scorpio, you're not just looking for what's happening right now. You're anticipating or planning for what's going to happen years in advance. This is definitely some serious straight up energy of engagement. Engagement, long-term commitment, maybe investment into a new business, some sort of entity that has everything to do with what you love so much. And that is also something that you are going to make a long-term commitment to. And vice versa. That's what I want, I think is, is especially important. Vice versa. It's not just you. It's not just you. Moon, turn knowledge into wisdom. You've discovered the key. This is the illumination. There's something secret here. There was something hidden. Or all of this energy, There was it was hidden. This opportunity was hidden. It was kept secret. There is some sort of unofficial moon energy delusional delusion thinking that something is going to happen um delusions this is interesting an interesting turn of energies hold on turn knowledge into wisdom but that's exactly what you've done right you've taken everything that was stored up underneath and you have brought it to the surface boldly and you're using it to help help you out so you basically un upturned the earth or this is the energy where it would be a really good time to take everything that you've learned and experienced and you're going to need this week all your experiences to help get you through something that, um, well, something that will eventually help to pave your future. Interesting. Okay. Embrace the in-between. Six plus two, 62, is also eight. So this is destiny. This is more Libra energy, the energy of finding balance, but also economy going step by step, not rushing in. You have been getting to know this circumstance or situation. Maybe you've been doing research on something. You have been doing your research and biding your time and economically switching from one leg to another. This is also a sense of togetherness because flamingos do protect themselves. This is where your protection gets involved by combining with others. So you are safe and you're feeling safe because the truth is you have found the group, the tribe, or the person that makes you feel safe. You found the career that makes you feel safe because you're akin to them. Strength in numbers, you found your tribe. You found your way or your place where you feel safe and now can thrive. I gotta get the deets, I really do. Claim your independence, this energy of three plus one equaling four, being able to be bold. This is the energy of landing on your feet. Like cats always land on their feet, grounding, but it's also a fiery grounding. It's Mars and Capricorn energy. It's that sense of knowing exactly what you can do because you're agile enough to do it. There's, there's nothing, you can jump high, you can jump off you can always land on your feet you always land on your feet there is a sense of certainty here that maybe you haven't experienced before but it's also acrobatics and ability and malleability being able to and feeling comfortable enough to be able to go with the flow and be able to ebb and flow this is once again that strong sense of who you are being solidified into a malleable form that can switch and change and mold and duck and weave and leap and land on its feet. Mm. Beautiful energy. 
This could also be, I will say this, for some of you, you have found out or discovered the truth about a group that you were a part of. And now you have realized, I don't belong with these people. You may have been trying to be a part of a group that just wasn't gelling, something that wasn't gelling, whether it was a relationship or a job or a community, just not gelling. Now you found the tribe that you belong in. And this could be you finding out some shady stuff shady goings on about what you were trying to fit into and now you're leaving now you're leaving because you don't need that anymore either way you've still found where you belong and what you want to stand beside one more let me just say there you go Sometimes life stings. So this is definitely about moving on. Six plus four is an energy of 10. Once again, that is completion. You have found your solidity by moving on, by leaving um, a false situation or a situation where everybody thinks everything was monot uh, monotone. Everything, it's almost like you, you were expected almost to be exactly like this or that or this person. Now, where does the strength in the beginning part of this reading comes? It comes because you found somewhere to leap to. It comes become because you found the support system or the inspiration to get the heck out of this relationship or this circumstance that was bugging you and irritating you and now you're able to find yourself on your own feet fault maybe you had a falling out recently like they rejected you or fired you or pushed you out of the house this is an energy of it was a blessing in disguise it may have felt horrible but guess what it was supposed to feel horrible it was supposed to feel horrible to teach you something and open up your eyes to the buzz the buzz what the wide world maybe already knew already it's like the message got through this could be the energy of something buzzing around on the net, discovering that somebody is being catty on the internet. Somebody is being like, oh, they don't fit in or, you know, trying to like pull, pull, like, like talk, talk, talk some stuff on the internet, like bug you on the internet and be catty and then, but still try to blend in and act like they're your friend, this type of energy. I don't like that type of energy. What kind of type of energy is that? Like all of this up here is really good. Ah, now I understand. This is why you're going to need your soul tribe around you. This is why you're going to need your peeps. Remember that crowning energy that I said from the very beginning? The crowning energy was get yourself solid ground around people that you know love you. And use what you've learned from the past, Scorpio, to see very clearly about what's going on. Because there is some shady stuff at play here. Don't love this energy, but you will thrive in it as long as you've got your mad peeps behind you. The, the people that, re that, that have your back unconditional. Or somebody could be doing this, like in other words, somebody could need this from you. You could be the grounding energy for somebody because you've got their back and maybe you've been trying to tell them about this upheaval for a long time, but there's definitely some shady playing going on here when it comes to maybe buzz on the internet, uh, people talking nasty things, people being catty, people trying to blend in and be fake, but you really understand what they're saying, subverted messages, um, Stuff that was buried or hidden, almost like maybe somebody was angry at you, but they've been like fake nice trying to hide it, but it keeps popping up. That kind of energy is it's starting to seep out and be very, very evident this week. And then you're grounding. Hold on. Let me see one more card. Let me get one more card because grounding energy is three cards. That's. I'm honestly, I still feel like. Hold on. This is nothing new, Scorpio. Nothing you can't handle. Oh, yeah. Make your dreams real. This is an energy of spider. Uh, five plus six is energy awakening. You've just awakened to this fact. You've just awakened to this bug in your bonnet. You've just awakened... Suddenly it's become clear who was causing the problem. Suddenly who's, who was causing clear where all this buzz and this fake talk was talking about. Suddenly it's become very clear. There's this very manipulative trying to pull strings, trying to wrap you up in sort of this sort of, um, you, you know, trap you, 
setting it like an ambush predator somebody is setting a trap here but this is also your energy you understand like this is them and then this is you setting up the trap ambush predator energy of i got you now you've revealed enough of me you revealed yourself it's like finally being able to see and call somebody out on their bs Somebody could also be trying to trap you to get you into a long-term relationship that they've been working on for years, but for some reason you haven't wanted to do it. Why? Because spirit has told you not to do it because you haven't felt right because that feeling inside of you tells you something is going wrong here. I, it's not where I belong and spirit is causing you, calling you, this is where you belong. And how does this all come together? Well, these things, even these, ch this, whatever charity you're building or whatever kind of foundation you're laying, that is making your heart happy. That is making your heart feel good. That is your great escape out of this crazy relationship or circumstance that is actually pulling you down and sort of, sort of trying to like bad talking you to almost get your attention so that you, you, you keep being called back to it. It's almost like it, the, the trap that this person is that not necessarily a person, but the trap that this energy is setting is almost luring you into, um, catty, um, fights, that kind of energy. And you're, and you're just sitting there like, I'm just, I'm just ready to be done with this. You're, you're almost just sitting there waiting for the right time to walk away. To like make them into the bug food that you've been waiting for. Because remember, uh, a, a spider isn't an insect. <laughs> it's an arachnid. It's a, it's a different species. So um, I think it's species is the right word. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's phylum or group or family, you know, but it's, it's not, it's not an insect. It eats insects and it's, it's ready. It's ready to just basically end this ridiculous quarrel that's been buzzing and frustrating you for some time. Um, last but not least is your grounding energy. Now is a lucky time multiplying your abundance, multiplying your money, multiplying your value. This could also be pregnancy with this energy right above. It could be somebody trying to get pregnant or rope you into a pregnancy when you don't want it, trying to have kids, trying to have babies, make you have babies with, in order to get you to stay. I hope this isn't you doing it to them, but that's what this energy is. But it also is telling me this is a beautiful week for you, a week of abundance, a week of stability, a week of purifying your life, being ready, finding your foundation, finding the people you want to be around. So these people you have been, it's almost like by comparison, now you finally see what you've been settling for. Watch your words watch your words. This is parroting, parroting, um, saying what, saying things that, um, saying things that you think people want to hear or saying the words that come out of somebody else's mouth, a sense of somebody saying things that almost like somebody, somebody mimicking you or trying to adapt itself to your life in order by repeating what you say or just by essentially multiplying or volumizing what somebody else has said um this ground this is interesting for grounding energy <sighs> hold on this is 10 too a lot of energy of 10 something is coming to a completion to an end not just an end like a bad thing completion something is complete and this is definitely more taurus energy you have taurus energy all over this reading scorpio Taurus energy that teaches us um, abundance, luxury, a lot of resources, having access to a lot of resources. And maybe you've been talking about it. Maybe you've been spreading the word, sharing the word, not necessarily your own words, but the words of somebody that you believe in to help volumize and distribute and get this message out. This is about giving and this is about caring and this is about um, a what like a wonderful week for you. This is a, this is beautiful energy that's grounding you, except watch your words. Now, what is that? What is that? Parrot spirit. Hold on. I know this reading is long, but it comes out the way it's supposed to. So I'm not going to question it. Hold on. 
Yeah, so the reading is going to be the length that it is. I'm not going to question it, but um, I know this reading is going a little bit long. If they're still going to be an extended, don't you worry. So uh, this is your full spread. And this is this energy of, I think that you finally found the weed that needs to be taken out. There's some sort of mimicking here, some sort of energy that is sort of colliding with your higher purpose or your larger purpose, some sort of energy of... Uh, watch what you have to say, watch it, or you in particular, as your grounding energy, it's almost like you are keeping your words close to you. You're not saying a lot. Why? Because you're about to catch a, 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 you're about to catch a bug. You're about to catch a pest and you know, crocodiles don't make noise when they're sitting there waiting to snap. You know, that's your energy. It's almost like you're going silent to get your abundance. You're going silent so it comes to you and you can snap shut and grab it and then multiply. Interesting, right? So I am going to go into the extended. Absolutely. We're going to articulate all of this and, and get more specifics. And then, of course, your straight up romance reading, which there's an implication that there's a lot of romance potential and energy happening here. Come over with me. Let's go clarify over on uh, in the extended. Uh, the link is below and in the comment section. I'll see you guys over there.